Baseball has a long history in the Caribbean region, dating back more than a century in Cuba, the Dominican Republic, and Puerto Rico. It is deeply rooted in our culture, and it sure opens a sort of lens for us to examine our history. The Cangrejeros de Santurce, Santurce Crabbers, is one of six fiercely competitive teams of Puerto Rico's professional winter league. Some of the stars that grace this famous franchise through the ages include Roberto Clemente, Willie Mays, Bob Thurman, Willard Brown, Danny Perez, Ruben Sierra, Juan Gonzalez, so many others. The Cangrejeros franchise was founded in 1939, integrating black and white players from the U.S. professional leagues nearly a decade before organized, organized baseball opened up to colored players in the late 1940s. Players in the Negro Leagues found a welcoming city and people as opposed to what they often experienced in the mainland United States. The founder of the franchise, Pedrin Sorrilla, was a visionary who signed up players from major and Negro Leagues, many of them who eventually became Hall of Famers. Santurce was the most successful Winter League team of the 1950s, labeled El Escuadrón del Pánico, the Panic Squad, with multiple Caribbean series. Caribbean series Serie del Caribe, of course, is the highest tournament for professional baseball teams in Latin America. For many white players, the experience gained from playing with professionals from the Negro Leagues and the Caribbean was invaluable to shaping their careers. During playoffs, Cangrejeros games are quite an experience with live Afro-Caribbean drumming, lots of Bombay Plena, and fans showing up at the stadium with live crabs. And the history of the Cangrejeros is one that deeply touches my own family. I was born and raised in Puerto Rico, where for 27 years, from 1975 to 2002, my father, Reynaldo Paniagua Diez, a.k.a. Boto Paniagua, was the proud owner of the legendary Cangrejeros. For me, for my sister and three brothers, growing up in this family meant that baseball was at the center of almost every conversation, family dinners, vacations, trips to training camps in the spring, where much of the scouting for winter league players took place, then summer travels to major league stadiums across the U.S., and then, of course, our winter league season. This was a family enterprise, and we were all, at one time or another, involved in the operation of the franchise. We all labored over it, sometimes agonized and fought over it, but we learned to absolutely love it. Much of the Cangrejero memorabilia donated to this collection comes from the family home in Puerto Rico, and we are thrilled to know that they will be preserved for generations to come.